Hello. Um, for you followers who have been following that video of the wet weather loach in the garden pond. Well, they've now sold the house, and obviously the pond. Moved to another house with quite a big garden actually. And thought I'd build another pond. This will be another loach pond, I hope. Anyway, it's quite a large one. As you can see, it's I think it's about 36 foot by um, 18 or 20. The size is going up and down according to how I think it can fit in with the, uh, this, this part of the garden, but I think it's going to be about that size. Um, I'm going to make it with polypropylene liner, probably two layers, because it's hard wearing. Very waterproof, obviously, and UV proof. Um, I've had poly liners for years now and they've never let me down. So that's what I'm going to use. I estimate probably about 20 tonnes to come out of this ground, I suppose. And this is what I'm going to use. It. I'm not going to use a digger or anything mechanised. It's going to be the old fashioned wheelbarrow, uh, a spade, shovel, pick, and a fork. And all the spoil is going to go around the back of that ticket, which is black form. Probably mound it up and make a, some sort of feature of it. And I think the pond's going to be roughly, probably at the back, it's going to be a shallow shelf to put rushes and rushes in it and shallow marginals. So the, the back's probably only going to be about a foot deep, about 10 foot. But coming down towards the sand. I'll probably make it about three foot, four foot, it depends what, what I start hitting against. I mean, it's this London clay. It's um, very hard. The best time to dig it, I suppose, is in the winter time when it's um, got more um, plastic sort of thing. So, I don't really know what I'm going to come across. If I come across some hard stuff, I might just stop stop there but I imagine it'd be about three foot the deepest bit and probably average about two foot two foot six and um, quite sharp sides sloping sides uh, just put rocks and earth around the edge and some feature an arbor here or something so I can watch the fish and hopefully I can uh, put some uh, more weather loach in it perhaps other fish and I'm hoping to aerate it with um, solar, some sort of solar air pump. I'll put a solar panel at the back behind that thicket and then work in air stones and then perhaps one or two solar fountains and water features uh, so it doesn't get stagnant. So there's quite a lot of trees around here and it's going to get a lot of sun. So there's always that chance of algae and uh, blanket reading whatever. Anyway, so the first stage, just marking it out. I'm going to do another video soon. It's starting to dig it. Anyway, there it goes. I always come back to my channel every now and again if you want to see if I've got any more videos on here. But I say at the moment, it's just really just marking it, seeing how it lies, and then do some costings on the line or something like that. I expect it's going to cost a few hundred pounds. Um, hopefully, it's not too big for the garden. But my ponds always are too big for the garden. Anyway, so anyway, anyway thanks for watching. Bye.